You know what I always have to say for these anti-smoking ads that you've been seeing on TV or people that keep militantly arguing about, you know, why we need to, oh, make smoking, you know, get down to zero percent? I always say, what type of smoke we talk about here? Cause I'm TNT, I'm dynamite, TNT. I jest, of course, but I do make an interesting point. In this country, in this society especially, and especially in the state of California, there's this demonization that goes on about smoking. Now, of course, it's obviously one of those things. That smoking is hazardous to your health. One look at a certain general label, one look at a list of the carcinogens that are in to uh, tobacco related products such as cigarettes you'd think would be something that would deter people from smoking but it doesn't because just like a drug tobacco uh, tobacco nicotine is is a drug but the problem is just like drugs we demonize people that are addicted to this we seem to demonize people that are always addicted to something it's the same way that we, we demonize people who are alcoholics or we demonize people even so much for the people that smoke pot, although pot is becoming a little bit more accepted. But people seem to demonize something without realizing that the people that have these issues are, are basically abusing it. They are, they are addicts. They have a, they have a problem. And they should not be punished for it. They should not be demonized and deemed it socially unacceptable just because they have an addiction. Instead of demonizing people and making them feel like shit, what we should be doing is giving people incentives or finding ways to help people get away from it. Not using demonization tactics to basically throw them under the bus. And that's one of the problems that I have with with the society, and especially with, um, unfortunately, the people that watch this video are probably not going to be too very fucking happy with me, but they need to hear it, especially the people that I know, because, frankly, I'm getting sick and tired of it. Now, granted, that's slightly on a personal level because I am around people who smoke, but I do not smoke myself. The only thing that I've ever smoked is marijuana, and I fully admit that I do smoke marijuana, and I'm not gonna, I'm not uh, ashamed of it at all. But the different, but obviously the difference between smoking marijuana and smoking tobacco is the fact that marijuana smoke is not hazardous to your health. Marijuana actually improves your lung capacity because when you're inhaling, a lot of times people are holding it in blah 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 that type of stuff but there's nothing nothing been proven that shows that marijuana smoke is hazardous to your health or anything else in fact marijuana smoking is probably actually a very healthy alternative now people can also make the arguments well there's vaping there's things like that but you know that's your up to your discretion but to demonize people who smoke and to try to basically make it a social inacceptability or trying to ban smoking in certain areas and trying to do this and trying to do that it has no effect all it's going to do is basically turn people away and so I think that the way that society seems to go about this whole thing is asinine so I, I guess that's why I get kind of militant and I crack jokes with a lot of people because they all because in my personal belief smoking is a free is a is your right to freedom of expression however you want to slice it it may not be so uh, it may not be good for your health it may be taking years off your lifespan but it's not something that we should be demonizing, not something that we should be trying to pretty much make illegal in a lot of places. You know, it's smoking is one of those things that if you choose to do it, it's no different than if you choose to smoke pot. If you choose to do it, that is your right. That is your right as a human being.
you know, and frankly, we shouldn't be trying to take away said right. Now, a lot of people have issues with that, saying, well, you know, there's secondhand smoke, and people will argue that I'm also a victim of secondhand smoke because I'm around people that do smoke. I made a conscientious decision. I make a conscientious decision every time I'm in a conversation with people who decide to light up. A lot of times they ask me, most of the time they're very polite about it. They ask, it's like, are you okay if I smoke? Now, you can make the conscientious decision to say uh, yes or no. But then again, you also have the conscientious decision to either, you know, say yes or walk the fuck away. Perfectly, you know. Now, some people are very snooty and think, well, why should I have to walk away when, you know, when you're doing something that's, you know, damaging your health and could possibly damage mine. And personally, I think that's a very selfish thing to say. You know, why are you infringing upon their right to smoke? You know, it's like no one's forcing you to stay there. You're at, what you're doing is you're forcing them to make a conscientious decision to put the butt out. Which may be, you're, in all intents and purposes, you're doing that, you may be trying to do that in a certain way. But it, it just, it, the way that certain people present things, I think they could go a lot at it. So there's different, you know, I'm not going to get into all this type of crap because it's all, you know, kind of hearsay and different shit like that. Um, but essentially, my issue is that people tend to put too much emphasis on trying to demonize shit and not so much on trying to actually understand that these people have an addiction, that these people need help. You know, they're not going to give it up overnight, just like a crack, uh, a crack user is not going to just give up smoking crack right away. It's one of those things that takes a lot of dedication, self-will, and frankly, the help of others. But these ads that you see on TV, these ad the arguments of people, you know, going after these other people and stuff like that are just ludicrous. They're asinine. And frankly, I think they're rather rude. I think that they are rather that they really don't take into consideration the feelings of others and how what you're doing is basically making these people like social pariahs. I mean, the recent ads you see again, um, uh, you know, about the swipe, you know, the swipe uh, smoking from your lips and stuff like that, I find grossly offensive. So it's one of those things that I had the my problem comes with the way that it, that things are presented. Of course, trying to find incentives to get people to quit smoking, by all means, we should definitely help people get, give up their addictions, to get away from their addictions, to, or to find alternatives and stuff like that. But we should not be demonizing these people, making them social pariahs. We should not be doing all this crap just for our own fucking benefits because that's essentially what it is it's not for it's not necessarily for aimed at trying to make somebody healthier and you know to change their lifestyle to something you know to you know get them off of their addiction it's all selfish benef you know beneficiary sort of crap and of course what can we expect they're capitalist ads and people buy into the capitalist bullcrap and under that sort of thing, it's just kind of one of those things I have an issue with because of the way it's presented. If you want to actually do something, you should actually, you should really try to find something that's going to not only benefit you, but benefit the person who has the addiction. So that that way, they can give up that addiction, they can get healthy, they can get clean, and things can change. See what I'm getting at here? If you don't, I will more than happily debate you in the comments, or on Twitter, whatever the case may be. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace.